Welcome back to another episode of This Week on the Homestead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and that's Rich and we are living off grid in the Adirondacks of New York State while building a homestead from scratch on 135 acres so we can live a simpler life of freedom and sustainability. Uh, things dried up here uh, quite a bit. It's like living in the dust bowl. Every time anybody drives or moves around out there, the, the dirt just poops up into a giant cloud of dust. Yeah, so we thought we would just clean up some of the dead wood back in uh, the camp area and spread all the wood chips down on top of the dirt and it would help with uh, tracking dirt in and out of the camp or two. Good morning. Steven's here digging the foundation for the house and it is an absolutely beautiful day. Rich and I are down here and we are going to take care of getting our little campsite cleaned up and clearing out the brush around the camper a little bit and we're gonna wood chip and put some of those wood chips down so we're not dragging so much dirt into the camper be a great day it's gonna be beautiful it's gorgeous out right now it's unbelievable how we could have snow a week ago and today I think we'll be in t-shirts pretty soon today you already are <laughs> Doesn't want to come down. Right, oh, almost fell. Yeah, oh. <laughs> bases for the sono tubes that we're going to use for the solar ground mount that we're building. It's like 62 inches. And there for the wood chipper. And the woods definitely looks a lot nicer. There's going to be so much more to do no matter what, but it looks much, much better than it did. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Stop. I need to get the saw out. This is dangerous. Right now, it's very dangerous. It's already half falling. Backhoe. Back the tractor up. Knock it with the backhoe. I can swing a rope around it with a, a throw that I can do. Let's just use a piece of this and just push on it from a distance. It's too heavy. You can't do so. Um, Cut this one. It's probably less good. Let me get the chainsaw. chipping to do but it does make a difference. We're saving short pieces so that I can make balusters out of them for our, um... oh, honey. You all right? Okay, I guess he's fine. So he's cutting me up some balusters 
that are 40 inches. We'll cut them down to whatever length we need them as. But I'm going to process them, strip them of their bark, let them dry out really good, and that's what we'll use for our loft and our stair railing. What a view from the top of this log. Come <laughs> see. So it and make it look nicer. And it looks nice. We fell down a few times. <laughs> <laughs> We're young enough where falls are still funny. Thank goodness. And we realize now when we look back that we fall down a lot. The two of us. Yeah. I fall, you fall. Yeah. So we just made this little montage for you. Even though it doesn't look like I'm laughing uh, when it happens, <laughs> but uh, I'm usually tired. We laugh later. <laughs> we laugh later. Or at the same time, sometimes. It depends. We got a lot of deliveries this week. Got the replacement solar panels, the ones that were damaged on the original shipment. So yeah. that was uh, pretty amazing and they got them here pretty quick. <laughs> Definitely looks like a footprint, honey. How about this? Somebody walking on them? Seriously, it does look like footprints, 100%. And the, what do you call it? What do you think was uh, right yep. here? Do not stack. Yeah, something gouged the top of it. All right, let's take a quick look at this and see if they're any good. So we were really worried that it was going to be broken again, but they weren't. So thank God that for that. Good. We took delivery of the clay membrane waterproofing system. <laughs> so, okay. So the kit that we bought came with the steel, which we already showed you. We got that delivery. And then it has the uh, membrane. Clay tight is the name brand, whatever that stuff is. So uh, we finally got that delivery, but they showed up when they weren't supposed to. We were completely unprepared and they ended up dropping it at the end of the driveway and, while Rich was working. And the stuff is very, very heavy. It's like roll roofing kind of stuff. How much weight does our tractor hold? 1,200 at the pins. I did the math. These rolls, 75 pounds each. And at 20 rolls, we're looking at 1,500 big ones. I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll do it. 300 pounds over what the tractor can carry, theoretically. I'm guessing we only got to lose about one roll. No, that's only 75 pounds. Yeah, but you can see it was lifting it. It was dragging it. It was almost lifting it. All right, um, so let's take out a roll. I say we take out a couple rolls. How are we supposed to get these up on a roof? We are going to struggle. We only took off 150 pounds. So this load should be 1350. And the tractor is supposed to be able to carry 1200. But he insisted on doing this. So we're giving it a try. Are they all right? They're fine, they're just heavy. The first pallet that Rich brought up, all the rolls fell off. And then all the rolls fell off the second pallet. So we had to restack 30 out of the 40 rolls and they were 75 pounds each and it was like back breaking work. We tied them up with a, what'd we tie them up with? Ratchet straps. A ratchet strap. 
So this has been an absolute nightmare. All the things fell off the pallets in the shelter logic. And it just took us about two hours to pick every single one up by hand. It was just a nightmare and we didn't oh. finish doing that until like 9.30 at night. No, I think it was even later. later. I think it was more like 10 or 10.30. It was dark. <laughs> we also got the ERV unit in. This is our energy recovery ventilation unit. It's sort of a heat and air exchanger. This should be the timer and the controls, you said? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Much, much bigger than I anticipated. Yeah, me too. Here's some air duct connections, right? Okay, it goes vertically, so that's good. Little latches. Ooh. Interlock switch so it can't run with it open. Uh, that looks absolutely perfect. We picked up all the duct work for uh, for all the ventilation systems, the clamps, the little T's, the the, the register the vents, pipes, and the oh, long yeah. pipes. Yeah. So basically, what we're trying to do is buy what we know we're going to need while it's still available or when it's available, because we're afraid that when we get to the point that we need it and we want to do it we're not going to be able to get it and we right. don't want that hold up. The old mindset is like when I'm doing something and I need to buy wood or materials to do that project, I would just run and get it. But now in this climate that we're in, we have to think ahead like months, you know? Yeah. So it's very hard to wrap my head around what we're going to need months from now. And right. the other big delivery coming this week, the black flies are starting to yeah. come out. <laughs> the other big delivery this week is the generator generator is on its way Thursday this week we should be getting it so hopefully we'll have something good to share with you next week the, right. the well pump is installed and some people have been asking some questions about it so I just thought we'd take a second to answer a couple of those questions people wanted to know how deep it was the well itself is 680 feet deep right the motor pump is 400 feet down and it's a one and a half horsepower motor and it's pumping 10 gallons per minute. And the other thing, a lot of people made some comments about the artesian overflow, and we were seasonal with that, but we're thinking now that we might be year round because it's now six feet down and we cut about two feet off the top. So right. it's about eight feet deeper than it was originally when it was overflowing most of the year. So now we're wondering and we're thinking that that might be artesian year round which would be really, really awesome. So we are gonna come up with some kind of a use for that water. 100%, definitely. And lastly, the other thing people wanted to know is about the well water, um, are we filtering it at all? We do use a Berkey. A Berkey. A Berkey, we do use a Berkey water filter and we have the black filters and we never used the white filters on Long Island, but now that we're living up here with the well water, we're going to because we don't know exactly what other minor contaminants might be in the water like arsenic and things like that. It's worth it to do because it's a private well. Yes, we will be getting it tested yearly, but we still want to filter it on top of that, just better safe than sorry. We decided to set it up right next to the pump uh, in, the, in the pump house there and we ran a little hose so we could just easily fill it and yeah. we have water when we're here and we have water yeah. when we're there. <laughs> Foundation, where are we at? Steve's been working really hard. He excavated about 18 inches down and sifted through all that dirt and got all the rocks. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So we have a nice clean backfill of about 18 inches or so to prevent any heaving that might happen. There's no big rocks underneath the house. Right. 
got that all laid out. He's got the uh, the basic footprint of the house laid out. He rolled it all down, compacted it's it again. It's smooth. bring in another 18 inches of stone on top of that. Well, they're, first they're going to do the forms, right? Right, they're going yeah. to start forming it and this then bring week, in the stone. Yeah. And then do the stone. So, And then next week, the week after, would be cement. Yeah, hopefully we'll yeah. be pouring. And lastly, people wanted to know, we, we can't do the foundation ourselves. We have to have somebody do that for us because it's so detailed and intricate. But stay tuned because we are DIYing. When we put this steel up, <laughs> and all the rebar and even uh, <laughs> a lot of the framing <laughs> because we're really trying to save on our budget so we'll see what happens with that uh, but yeah we we'll, will be doing a lot ourselves yeah we're going to uh, attempt everything that we can so there's a lot of stuff to come please if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and join us and laugh with us cry with us and <laughs> Just uh, enjoy the journey. That's what we're trying to do. It's going to be a big one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. All right.